what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello to you in today's video i will be sharing with you all how i styled my four month old daughter's hair i also have some hair routines for my boys on my channel as well i will have them linked below but let's go ahead and hop right into the routine for my daughter for the first few months my daughter did experience quite a bit of cradle cap however when i did implement a routine for her I did see it subside a bit also with the shampoo I did go with a fragrance free this baby gluten free and fragrance free by shade moisture along with her having cradle cap she does suffer from eczema so I wanted to kind of find a product that did not dry her out but also didn't have any fragrance that would lead to her drying out even more so that's why I went with this one in particular. I did take a few cosmetology classes. However, I am not a professional, so do your own research when you're searching for a shampoo. We have a few different shampoos in my household that caters to the needs of our hair. As I am shampooing her hair, I am using a cradle cap brush to avoid digging into our scalp with my long nails. I want to be as gentle as possible. You can find this on Amazon. I will have the link below. It's a very inexpensive brush. You can probably find it in a beauty supply store as well, but I did find a two pack on Amazon. As y'all can see, she is loving this process and I am loving it for her. <laughs> After shampooing her hair, I did go in with the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Conditioner. I massaged this through her hair and let it sit for about three minutes or so. Of course, this was not the first time that I've shampooed her hair, but it was the first time that I brought her to the sink and went through all of these steps. Before getting the Shea Moisture shampoo, I was using the Aquaphor shampoo, but I felt as though that was drying her hair out. So again, make sure you're doing your research. Pay attention to how the hair is responding to different ingredients that you're using. She is loving this, y'all. Look at her. But also be mindful of the soft spot as well, so don't be too rough. Be very gentle. To comb her hair out, I did use a wide tooth comb. I recommend doing this instead of using a rat tail or any fine tooth comb. By the time she hit a month, I had to throw out that baby comb because her hair was so thick that it was not good to use that fine tooth comb. After combing it through, I rinsed her hair thoroughly, ensuring that I got all of that conditioner out. She did so well. I was so proud of her. I was talking to her through the process that I believe helped out with her staying comfortable and not tensing up or getting scared. To dry her hair, I used a microfiber cloth and just patted it dry, not too much. Her hair dries pretty quickly. To add a bit more moisture to her hair because she does have pretty dry hair if I'm not moisturizing it, I went in with the Cantu leave-in conditioner to give her that extra moisture. Do not need much. You can use just as much as I use depending on the size of the baby head or your head or whatever you're using this video for. Just use enough.
this tube I have some Jamaican black castor oil honestly I use all of them i believe the one that i have in this tube is the vitamin e and d whatever you saw at the beginning of the video that's what's in this tube i find it easier to distribute it through her hair in this tube versus actually pouring it into my hand and just gliding it through her hair me adding the black castor oil is another way of me locking in her moisture but after that that is all that I'm using and now I'm going to go ahead and style her hair I did um, add a little bit of oil into the little cup of rubber bands that is a way to prevent breakage With this being my first time, I didn't know how many ponytails I was going to put in her hair, but I did know I didn't want to put too much stress on her hair. Do whatever you want or whatever you see fit for your child or your hair. Again, I don't know what you're using this video for, but um, yeah, I did as many that I felt was appropriate for the length and the amount of tension that I thought could be on her hair. So I am going to be honest, at the beginning I was trying to perfect her parts, but then I said, you know what, she's four months, there is no need for me to have her sitting for too long just because I'm trying to perfect some parts. So as I got further on to doing her hair, I became more laxed on the parting. I didn't want her to get fussy, I really wanted her to enjoy this process because as she continues to get older, she's gonna have to get her hair done. I don't want her to be all fussy every time she knows it's time for her to get her hair done. I really want her to enjoy the process. And so far, she is doing well with me doing her hair. Um, I've done her hair quite a few times since recording this video. I like to do her hair once a week to keep it clean and fresh. At this point, she did get a little fussy because she was hungry, so I am nursing her and doing her hair at the same time. Do what you have to do to get the job done. Before placing a rubber band on her hair, I did kind of brush the fine pieces of hair that you'll find around her edges with my finger. I wanted to do that so that I could make sure that I was not putting any pieces of hair in that was going to pull, trying to prevent as much breakage as possible. I also kind of pulled on the rubber band once I placed it on her hair. Just a little bit, I didn't pull too hard or anything like that, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't laying on her scalp. I want to make sure that this hairstyle is as comfortable as possible. It's not too tight. So by doing that, I just pulled it up a little bit. Hopefully that made sense, but you can kind of see what I was doing in that clip. for her to build she is so sweet y'all I just I am cherishing every moment of her being so small oh, she is such a God sent gift I 
don't know if you all can tell, but my middle child, Carter, he is just so affectionate. He was trying to hop on my back, and I had to let him know, I'm like, look, you gotta sit beside me, baby. You can't be on my back while I'm doing her hair. So you all see him kind of squeeze on into the clip. Ah, he's so sweet. I love him so much. <laughs> Again, I am brushing down her edges that I don't want to pull once I put her rubber band on. I want this process to be as smooth and gentle as possible. Carter also shows his little sister love and affection as well. All three of my babies are like that towards one another. It just fills my heart up and it just brings so much joy to just see them love on each other in that in this way. So I did end up taking a break to put Carter in the bath. Um, don't feel like you have to get it all done in one sitting. Also with them being so small, you want to make sure that they're not uncomfortable. So I did not mind taking a break. Now she is asleep, so I'm going to finish up. Um, now that I am doing her hair, like I said, I've done her hair a couple times after this video. I do make her um, ponytails a bit smaller. You can do however many you like, but I just find that it just holds up a little bit better when I make them smaller, but it could be different for your child or you. So do what best fits you.
I hope you all enjoyed this video and it provided somewhat of inspo or an idea to do your little one's hair. I truly enjoy moments like this, not just doing my daughter's hair, but doing my boy's hair as well. It's just a time for us to bond and create memories together. If you have not yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And as always, be blessed and nothing less, and I'll be back with another video.